do from a win. That's right, and again, when we talk about Thailand, I mean, to us, this is always the ultimate when you get a Thai fighter in a British ring. The atmosphere goes up. You, you're bringing the guys over. It really does add spice to the fights. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I believe uh, Kieran himself is he's planning to actually uh, train over in Thailand and fight over there, um, you know, which is only going to be good for him. Kieran, the Waco Pro World Champion. As I said, he has been there, done it, bought the T-shirt. Um, I, I must say, as he's one of the one of the fighters that tends to get a bit of flack, and I, I could never understand that. I'll still never understand it. And the other thing that you must say about the boy is he's very hard to hit cleanly. I, I love his defensive work. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, you know, if he does get sticky, you know, I think it's unfair as well. Um, but one thing about him, he, he pulls off these wins, so it's terrific wins. Yes, five three-minute rounds, and nice little uppercut there from Corson. Because the one thing with the Thai boxing, the actual boxing is probably the most neglected skill, if that's the right way of putting it. That is the least scoring skill for them. Yet that was a nice little short uppercut he threw. Yeah, certainly. Uh, generally, uh, you know, they, they put more effort into into the knee and the elbows. Um, and, and like you say, the boxing is, is the sort of last thing that they, they sort of concentrate on. And again, this more like a traditional tie fight because of the, f the five three-minute round. They're just having a look at each other with the legs. Yeah, they'll, they'll, uh, they'll start off slow here and wait as well. Corson, though, looks very strong at the weight, doesn't he? Very stocky. Yeah. Very powerful build. He does indeed, yeah. Um, Kieran's got a bit of a height advantage on him there, though. See if he can use that. And again, those chopping low leg kicks. The last time I saw Kieran fight a tie, that was what actually finished the fight. He, he, he couldn't walk, he had to retire. Right. And um, that's one of the most devastating things about the ties. You see these little guys and their calves and legs are huge. Certainly, yeah. Uh, um, you know, and. Uh, you take a good, good leg kick on your side, you know, it's, uh, it's agonising. And again, to the inside of Kieran's thigh there, he shrugs it off, but he, he's got to look for this because the tie does look very strong. Yep, um, good start to the fight for the tie there. And he set out his stall, I feel, he's, he's working Kieran's legs. Do you think that maybe... He's had some insider knowledge there. With, with, you know, the last time I saw Kim fight, I said was against a tie, and that was the stoppage. You think maybe he's giving him a little whisper and said, "Hey, he's worked this guy's legs." Quite possibly, yeah. I mean, uh, quite possibly. Um, the funny thing is, over in Thailand, they, they tend not to throw that many leg kicks. You know, um, obviously they fight quite often, really. I think it's a sort of respect thing between the between the two fighters. Yes, because obviously it's their bread and butter, and they, they want to be fighting again regularly, uh, as you said, but. Again, the, the right thigh of Kearns is already heavily marked. And a confident opening round for the tie, wouldn't you say? Yep, definitely. Kieran, no, no emotion on his face. And that will stay there throughout the five rounds. Good opening round there. And the tie holds his hands aloft. I think he, he thought job well done in that first round. Certainly, yeah, yeah. You know, it's um, it's going to be a difficult evening for Kieran, but um, I'm sure he can uh, he can come back into it. Yeah, Alan, his brother, in the corner there. And they said, as as tie fighters go, he's he's very stocky and muscular, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. You can see the muscles on him there. And uh, you know, again, it's usually the tie that, that starts off the slower. So uh, he, he's come out. Um, Come out and you can see from the replay here, his thigh is already marked. Yeah, that seems to be well enough a bit there, and that's, that's got to be a worry, worry that for Kieran. So, when you, you, how do you defend a leg like that now? He's obviously wary of it, the, the, the tie set out his stall, he's going to go for that, for that right thigh. And here we go, and he hits it again. How does Kieran defend against that? It's, I mean, he's, he's got to get his, his leg up and block it, and basically, simple as, um, you know, he needs to get that lead left leg up and, and really put his shin against the, against the tie shin, discourage him from throwing the kick. Because the one thing um, they, they haven't seen is what Kieran's capable of. It's and they've got a balm there. Is, is, are, they, are they rubbing in a balm there into his legs there, Dave? Yeah, Second possibly out. some tie ligaments or something like that, you know. Um, the, you can rub that on the shin, sort of numb the, numb the pain a little bit. So 
so what, but what he hasn't done is seen what Kieran's capable of. Do you think that might have been a, a kettle tactic to see what he's got in the first round and then start to step it up? Yeah, I mean, he, he usually fights with a, a very tight style anyway, Kieran, and, uh, you know, he'll take his time to get into the fight. Um, so we'll, we'll see what comes from him. It's a two of five there. Good first round for Warwick Sisko-Son, the Thai fighter. Kieran, let's see if he does start to step it up now. Nice attempted right hand there through the channel. One thing I'd say about the, 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 the tie fighter here is um, it's almost like he, he fights our Western style, doesn't it? That if these were two two English guys, you say sort of way we fight. Yeah, certainly. Yeah, he's uh, he's come out uh, you know come out fighting that way. He's using a lot of hands. Um, quite surprising, really. Tend to kick to the inside of the thigh there from Kieran. Getting a push kick. He's got to make sure he brings that leg back. And again, as we said before, Kusson willing to box and trade. First elbow attempt they just missed. And again, same from Kieran. He's a bit more attempt about Kieran Kettle in this round. He looks a bit more focused now, yeah. Again, an elbow attempt there. Just missed from the time, but again, Kieran can make you do that. He's got a very good defense. The other thing he does very well is that push kick to the to the thigh. Yeah, it's here in his left uh, on his on his left leg. Very good kick that just to uh, just to keep your opponent away and almost uh, as they come in at you, you flip that out to the thigh and you stop him completely in the tracks. He does that very regularly and very accurately. Defensive work there from Kettle and he needed it, but he has come more into this round, hasn't he? Yeah, it's better round from him. Got a good look at his tie opponent, he's a strong young man. Had to take the leg there, you've got to be careful when you do that because of the elbows. Full tie rules here. We have European modified rules, obviously, but this is under the full tie rules, so you've got to be careful when you grab the leg like that. So with almost two rounds, almost finished now, what are your thoughts on this one? Um, I, I think the tie still still sort of in control of the fight. Kier's definitely had a, a much better round this one. Um, I think there's probably more to come from him, um, but he, he certainly needs to be blocking those leg kicks because uh, it, it does look quite nasty on his, on his back leg. To be fair, he, as you said, he stepped up. He, he did take less damage to it this round, yeah. but I'd still say at the moment we've got the tie two rounds up. Yeah, I mean, the, the tie almost seems to be throwing the kick a lot less. So if you're if you're Alan there in Kieran's corner, what would you be saying to him now? Well, he, he really needs to, uh, to to be coming coming in and probably letting his own leg kicks go um, back at the tie there. Um, he's having some success with the knee. Um, being a, a taller fighter, uh, you know those knees can 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 be successful for you. Um, so he really needs to, to try and catch the the tie with that as he's coming in. Right. So as you saw there two good knee, knee attacks but that's what he's got to be careful of he got the, the right leg out of the way there yeah. but he's really got to protect those legs yeah i mean I'd, I'd like to see him blocking those leg kicks and then you know coming back with one of his own and uh, the tie bit more see him working away on the legs there and in the tie corner peter crook there yeah very good fight of our own working the ties corner great fighter So, Kieran, the boy Kettle, he really needs to step it up another gear. Now, he did in the second. Can he keep the momentum going and turn the tide here? One thing I would say, we're, we're just looking at his face. There was more intent there. He did look more focused as we picked up on. And he needs to take that up another notch now, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, he's quite capable of doing that. Trying to 
and look, look for that, that right hand and that left lead. Oh, but he took it again. Short left hand there from that southpaw stance. And it, it, you know, a, a tie with good boxing technique is not a rarity. They, they've had great world champion boxers in the past. Certainly. So we shouldn't be shocked. But I said it, it is not normally their style. It's not, no. They, they do tend to go for the knees and the, and the, uh, the elbows more. As you said, they're looking for the elbow then as he tied Kieran up. But again, Kieran, no facial damage yet. He, he doesn't take many clean shots. I, I'm still worried about those legs. He's only around three. Then he's got to work in the clinch. As you said, with that height advantage, he's got to bring those knees in and make them play. Yeah. Separated now. Kieran stepping it up again, but I still feel that he needs to be more than a nice short right for his man on the knee now. Just beginning to, to find his range and catch him more consistently. And get, he, as you saw there, he, he took that leg out of the way. He took another side kick. He's, try, he's constantly trying to get that leg out of the way as well. Yeah, he seems to be uh, turning out the way a bit better this one and, uh, and obviously getting his leg up to, to block the kick. And he needs to, he needs to impress the judges in this round to get around back under his belt. Time's ticking away for him. Because at the moment, really, the tie's been quite common because he hasn't asked too many questions of him. Nice jab there, though. Here in stalking now, he, I, I think he knows he needs to step up the pace. But again, we must stress, as we did in the previous fight, with the danger of the elbows, it can change the complexion of the fight instantly. Yeah, you know, it just takes the, the one good elbow there, and it's, uh, it's a different story. Well, Kieran certainly, he stepped it up in this round. He's certainly going for his man. Again, we've mentioned Kieran Kettle's defences. What about the time he looks very competent in defence? Yeah, he, he, he does, um, you know, he's, he's not getting caught with much at all. Um, and what I like about the tie is, uh, you know, when he does get, uh, when he's a blocky shot, he'll come back with one or, one or two of his own. Yes, I mean, we've seen ties come over in the past and, and get rather complacent and not, not put in the work rate right, and then look extremely shocked when they've lost. He's certainly not doing that. He's put in the work rate right as well. Very good in defence, very strong in the clinch. And, and to me, at the moment, the, the, despite the good work, the fight is slipping away from Kieran. Mm. Absolutely. I mean, you know, um, as you said about sort of insider knowledge before, uh, the more ties that do come over here, then obviously they're, they're going to sort of learn a bit more about the way we sort of score things over here, really. Yes, that's a good point there, because we, we, we saw his, his boxing, we saw the, the good knees. I, I just feel he's constantly making sure that he's in control of the overall fight. Do you think that's a fair comment? Yeah, definitely, Malcolm. He's, uh, he's not taking any chances at all. I mean, at least, as I said, Kieran's trying to step in and he's, he's, he's trying to change it, but there's the, the stall. And for the first time, it's good to see Kieran actually trying to counter those kicks as they come in. Yeah, well, uh, you know, traditionally the fourth, the fifth round are the, are the ones with all the action in, uh, in Muay Thai, so um, let's hope Kieran can pull something out of the bag here. And again, you wouldn't think he's, he's been in a fight. Look, look at his face. The, they call him the boy. He's got a baby face. He's so relaxed and so calm. Yep. Possibly a lot more to come from him. Peter Cook there rubbing the legs down. The tie again, though, looks, again, we talk about cool and calm. He looks very confident there, and I, I think he knows he, he's controlling the fight. And I don't think we'll see him take too many chances, but what he does, he does very well and very professionally. Yeah, he's, uh, you know, he's, he's doing enough to win each round, and uh, uh, I'd say he's, he's not taking any chances at all. But I mean, to be fair to our fighters, Kieran's considered very experienced with, say, 40 fights. I mean, the, the, their fights can number the hundreds. It's not unheard of, it, yeah. you know. I think we heard of it earlier. The, the guys had a sort of 95 fights, you know, and that's the experience for you. Yes, I mean, we, we, we do say Kieran is an experienced fighter in our terms, but I always feel it's always a step up when, when, when you take on one of the ties. And as I said, what I like about Kieran is always willing to do it. He'll step into the breach and take them on. Yeah, and, and the more than he does, you know, the, the more he'll learn and the better fighter he'll get. Again, what I like about the particular tie we're seeing at the moment, Kosorn, is he knows when to step up himself as well. As you said, I agree with you. I think he, he's learned about what it takes to win over here in our style of fighting. And he's giving the judges exactly what we want to see. And every time Kieran goes to step it up, he makes sure that he's there as well. Yeah, absolutely. 
game as good punching technique there from the tight end, the low kicks and trying to get the other in close. Just in final round here. And I think it's a round too far for Kieran. He, he's had a good showing and he's made sure that he's not taken anything clean and been damaged. But I, I feel he, he's being convincingly beaten. So probably sounds a bit hard on him, but you, you know what I'm saying, Dave? Yeah, certainly. Uh, you know, he's, he's not really uh, been able to stamp any authority on this at all. Um, and, you know, and the ties has, has been able to, to do as he wants to a certain extent. Yes, very good, very strong tie here. Caught the leg for the first time, Kieran. Caught the elbow in as well. First real success for Kieran Pedal. Ty picking him up now, looking for that throw, getting the elbows in. Knees in, sorry. And he's really, when he hooks his hands around his, his lower sort of back, they're really squeeze it, squeezing the back and, and try and push him over, and it, you know, it can take a lot out of you, that. Kieran still focused. I think he's, he's going to come off a loss game, but as you said, he's always gaining the experience every time he takes one of these guys on. And that stands him in good stead then when he goes into more domestic or European competition, doesn't he? Yeah, certainly. I mean, um, he's, you know, he's, he's seen some top guys tonight fighting, and it's good to see him, you know, fighting top quality opponents as well. That's right. Pain and glory at the NEC Arena. Super fights, kickboxing, Muay Thai, mixed martial arts, and K1. It doesn't get better than this. Time ticking away now for Kieran, but again, he, he's certainly not been disgraced. But I feel he's met a, a guy very confident, very competent, knows just what it takes to win, and he's done that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, again, similar to the previous that he just seems to, uh, to have outthought out in there. Yeah, I think that, that smile from Kieran was almost like frustration. He went to go in, he took the inside of the leg, went to go in again, and that little kick to the front of the guy. And I think that smile was as much acknowledgement that, hey, You've got me here. Yeah, it's just, just not coming out, coming up for him at the moment. Find the elbows to the top of the head there. And again, the clock, that's it. Fifth and final round. And I feel, you know, we, we, we could say a shut up there by the time fighter. Yeah, uh, there's a good impressive performance from him. So Warwood Cis Kosan, we think, has um, inflicted defeat on Kieran, the boy Kettle. And again from here, as you said, he's clinching in, squeezing tight, and that was probably the story of the fight for Kieran. He, he couldn't do what he really wanted, and as you mentioned earlier, the tie seemed to do what he wanted to dominate the fight and, and make sure that he stayed in ascendancy. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a good day at the office for him, I think. being rubbed down there after the fight, but really, he didn't even take much punishment to those legs himself at all. No, um, and as you pointed out earlier, Malcolm, the, the, that sort of front kick to the thigh there was uh, quite effective in, in keeping Kieran, uh, you know, out of range from him. Um, as he seemed to be trying to set up an attack, he did, he put that kick out and keep him away. Yeah, I felt that, that smile in round five was an acknowledgement of that and of his own frustration, but as I said again, again, you look at him, his expression never changes. As you said, he, I agree with you. He's got that tie attitude. It's like it's another fight. I've gone in there again. Second half, this is the fifth and final. <laughs> well, my mistake. I thought that was round five. But it's round, the fifth and final one now. But still, for me, that, that, that's 4-0 at the moment. I yeah. really need to stop it. To I can't see it at this precise moment in time. It's not looking that way. Um, you know, he's, he's going to have to pull something special out of the back here. Yeah, so we're treated to one more round. I got my clock wrong. I thought it was, that was the fifth. That was the fourth. We're in the fifth and final. And Kieran really, the best he can hope for, I think, is, is a chopping elbow, a cut. That's the only way I think he's going to get the stoppage because this man looks very strong. Yeah, just, just as you said that, he did put a, put a nice elbow in on the, on the tight. Yes, he'll go for it, Kieran. There's no two ways about that. But I think he's met a man technically and tactically knows what he's doing and knows, I, I think he'll shut this fight out. Well, at this stage, he just seems to have Kieran's number. Short little elbow attempt there himself. I'm happy to keep him at that range. That's one thing. Kieran hasn't been able to work at the range he wants either. And that push kick again. Yeah, it's it's almost like a reflex from him, isn't it? Yeah. It's just inbuilt. He uses it very well. In his favour, Kieran's protected the leg well since those opening two rounds. It never looked like he would be stopped that way. 
Yeah, he's, he's saw the danger there and he's, he's coped with that well. Well, sometimes in, in these last minutes, he really does need to find a punishing elbow, one that will cut the forehead or the eye or the cheek, because I think otherwise he's heading for defeat. But again, a good round, probably Kieran's best so far. Yeah, definitely. Um, maybe a case of too little, too late for him, though. Still can use man again, but that little front push kick coming out. I think he knows he's done enough. He knows he doesn't need to get silly or complacent. But again, short elbow there from Kieran, immediately applied. Yeah, he's just, just frustrating Kieran at the moment. Um, you know, just sticking a leg out. And keeping him away from him. Yeah, going shot there, Kieran. But I mean, it's a bit tit for tat there because there was a couple there in the earlier rounds from Kieran himself. He certainly stepped it up this round. He certainly had a go. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a tough round. That's right, hook there from the tie fighter. Pushing that front leg out again, just to push straight. Yeah, best move of success for Kieran in this round. A round to be proud of for Kettle here. But I think, it's, as you said, Dave, it's too little, too late here. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, I think it would go so far as to give him this round, but, you know, if one work rates, uh, you know, more than one <laughs> There we go, this is the fifth and final one. And I think though, that said it all. He put his arms up and Kieran acknowledged that. He's, yeah. honest, he, he's not stupid, but I think he knows where this one's going. Big smile though, as I said, it looks like just another day in the office for him. He's, he's got marks on the face. This was the problem for him. He, he could never really get in this, even though this was the best round. He was always busy, the TIE fighter. He always knew what he was doing, and that little push kick just to keep him away. Yeah. Uh, very awkward, very uh, rangy sort of fighter. There's three in a row there, and it must just unsettle your mind, doesn't it? It just takes your focus off what, what you're doing. Yeah, it was very hard to sort of in unload with anything when, you, when you're getting that kick just throwing you off your balance. So we've got a feeling this will be in favour. Smiling there, it's just more experience for him and he'll be back. Ladies and gentlemen, our judges have reached a decision.